Here we're going to go over deployment of the Perclose Pro style closure device. This is actually the second generation. There used to be a purple one called the Perclose Pro Glide. You may see those around. The deployment is basically the same, however there have been some improvements with the Pro style. Perclose is indicated for closure of femoral arterial access from 5 French to 21 French. But over 8 French you need to use two devices and the pre-close technique. It's indicated for femoral venous from 5 French to 24 French, and over 14 French you need to use two devices and the pre-close technique. In this video, we're only going to go over single device deployment. There will be a future video going over closure of large bore access using multiple devices and the pre-close technique. When first learning closure devices, I remember per close feeling very imposing because there are many steps and it feels very unnatural to throw a suture when you're not pressing down on the knot. Once you learn per close, I think that it's very useful and it's actually the only closure device that you can reaccess immediately because there is no clotting mechanism. It's a suture that's being tied around the arteriotomy or venotomy. When you open the per close package, you'll get three components. The first one is the device itself. The second one is the suture puller. And the third one is the suture cutter. To prep the device, you want to get saline in a syringe and flush through the side port. The side port connects to the lumen of the device. You can see when you inject, there's fluid that comes out of the hole. You also want to take a 4x4 or just wet the device itself. This activates the hydrophilic coating. Now when you're ready to close, you'll have your sheath in the arteriotomy or venotomy. And take your 035 exchange wire and reaccess the vessel. Now you're going to walk out the sheath and remember that you need to maintain hemostasis by manual compression. The next step is to load the device onto the wire. Remember that you would be maintaining hemostasis either manually or by a second person. The wire will come out of the wire exit port here. Remember that you're maintaining manual hemostasis at the site until this point. As you advance the perclose into the arteriotomy, the device will actually allow for hemostasis. So at this point you can relax and take off manual pressure. You're going to advance just until the wire port is outside the skin. Then you can remove the wire. You advance the perclose into the lumen until you get blood flow coming out of the side port. This means that the device is fully inside the lumen. You'll see pulsatile flow with arterial access and a slow, um, darker flow with venous access. At this point, you want to deploy step one, which is the foot plate. You do this by pulling back on that lever. Now we're going to take a look inside. You can see the foot plate deploy here inside the lumen of the vessel. Next, you're going to pull back very slightly on the device until the foot plate abuts against the inside of the lumen. You can see here that the foot plate has moved up and it's just inside the arteriotomy now. At this point, you're going to maintain pressure holding the device at that angle, about 45 degrees. 
Now stabilize the device with your left hand and use your right hand at the top of the device. Step two deploys the needles that drive the suture into the arteriotomy. You need a fairly good grip and then you're going to push firmly with your thumb to deploy the sutures. The sutures deploy down toward the foot plate. Once this is done, then you're going to do step three, which is pulling back on the sutures. They come out completely and they're attached to the suture. Now bring them around to where the suture cutter is on the front of the device. You do it kind of at a perpendicular angle. We call this playing the violin. At this point, the suture has been deployed. We're going to advance very slightly with the whole device to bring this foot plate away from the arteriotomy wall. And now we're ready to collapse the foot plate. So we deploy step four, and the foot plate is now collapsed. Next, we can pull out slightly until the wire access port is outside the skin level. You can feed your guide wire back in. This allows you to maintain luminal access. At this point, the sutures are available on the side of the device, so you can grab those and pull them out so that they're free. Now there are two different sutures that are on this device. One is a blue suture, as you can see here. The second arm has a white tip. So we call that the white suture. That's for locking the suture down. So we need to save that until later and make sure you don't pull it too early. So take the white suture. Some people will do all the steps using the suture cutter, but there is a suture puller available. So I'll show you how to use that. You pass the blue suture through the tip of the suture puller and then pull on the white tab that brings the suture straight through the suture puller. Now for all the steps when we're manipulating using the tools on the suture, you want to have a firm grip on the suture. So what I do is wrap a couple loops around my finger, hold that with my hand, and then use the thumb of the same hand, my left hand, on the tool. You want about guitar string tension on the suture, and you're pushing down with your thumb, pulling up with the suture. What this step does is push the knot down on the blue suture, all the way to the arteriotomy. At this point, we can remove the guide wire that we had placed, and you're going to tighten up a little bit more with your left thumb just to take up the space when the wire came out. At this point, you can pull on the white suture to lock that suture in place. Next, take both the blue and white suture together and feed them onto the suture cutter. The suture cutter has two levers. The white lever opens and closes the trap door, and the red lever is what cuts the suture. So put su both sutures in as you pull the white lever back, and then walk the suture cutter down, and you'll feel resistance when you approach the arteriotomy. Again, you pull on the suture and then pull the red lever to cut. This deploys the perclo suture and we're complete. You can see the suture at the site of the arteriotomy. And then if you were to look from the inside, this is the suture on top and you have just the single throw of a suture on the inside. Perclose has a lot of clinical utility, and I strongly encourage you to learn how to use it.